there was this basically new age stop the violence thing that came out uh, for for Michael Brown for Ferguson. Uh, uh, I think Game organized it. It yeah. was called Don't Shoot. Right. And um, I like that this type of song was made. I don't like that this song was made. Oh. And and, and the reason why is uh. First of all, you have DJ Khaled starting it off, which is never a good time for anything. <laughs> but it's just like, all right, you know, he's doing the intro. Okay, fine, you know, whatever. And then uh, you have Game come in, and pretty much all he does is do what he always does and just say people's names. Mm. Like, I'm mentioning Tip, and then I'm mentioning Diddy, and then I'm mentioning this person, and then I mentioned J. Cole. It's like... Dude, just stick to the issue, man, you know? It's not about that. And, um... But, you know, his verse wasn't that bad, you know? Then we get to Diddy. Oh. First of all, why the hell is Diddy on this song? <laughs> like, man, he, he cares. That's why. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Back in, uh, uh, 19... I think it was 1991, 92, when they did Self-Destruction... You know, they got current MCs on that song. Yeah. It's fucking Busy B. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking Rapper's Delight Gang are like, hey, jump on the track. The new generation totally wants to hear these guys from 11 years ago. Yeah, no. fucking uh, Ice Cube is in an extra Curtis Blow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there was any of that going on. <laughs> so, for... First of all, I, I think that's just kind of lame in and of itself. Like, like he's on here like, oh, yeah, I'm one of the relevant rappers that the kids are trying to listen to, so they need to listen up to what I'm going to say. It's like, no, Diddy, you're not that guy. You're not no, that guy. He's, he's fucking reality star guy. Yeah. But anyway, the first line he says, yo, come on, we got to stick together. We all we got. Police taking shots, and I ain't talking about Ciroc. No. Huh? Oh my, uh, oh my god. <laughs> he actually name drops his brand name uh, 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 vodka or whatever in a song that's supposed to be, you know, protesting the, the, uh, the police brutality in Ferguson and across the fucking nation. Oh, and he fuck. couldn't fucking help himself. No, he, he seriously couldn't. He's in the studio like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't. Like, after uh, he the line, he just stops the track. He's like, oh my god, I'm just, a monster. He just falls to his knees and he's shaking in the corner. <laughs> and it's like, and you know, you could be like, oh, but he said he's not talking about, he said, you could say he's not talking about Throg because he's talking about police taking shots. No, shut the fuck up. He still said it. Yeah, the point was to name drop it to make you once again think about it. Uh. Like, for real, man? Was this the time to say that? And he says, oh, I'm talking about Emmett Till. I'm talking about Ezra Ford. No, you're not. No. You were only on this song. I bet you the only reason he said he would do the song, they were probably on the phone with Game. He was like, I need you to do the song, man. I need as many uh, famous rappers as I can get. He's like, only, oh, only, only, my, my, uh, my my company says I can only be on it if I uh, name drops rock. <laughs> and fucking games like for fucking real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Here on this song. Are you fucking kidding? I'll even do another song right afterwards. All right, we can do the serious song where we actually wanted to chart, and you can mention rock. But here, man, <laughs> and it's, you know he's probably like, well, but what if this song helps enact social change? I want rock to be there with that social change. <laughs> I want rock synonymous. With civil rights <laughs> and equality. Get you a cool glass of Ciroc while you protest against the, uh, the, uh, uh, uh fucked up society. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. But it, I just, it just, it just made me want to stop the song, honestly. It made me want to go like, oh, is that what this is? You know, <laughs> like. Yeah, I didn't listen to it yet. So... And, then, and then he randomly says, history keeps repeating itself like a biggie instrumental. Mm. And it's like, first of all, what the hell does that mean? It, like, it, it'd really be like any instrumental, really. Yeah, doesn't it? 
every instrumental like I mean that involved like a loop repeat itself was yeah it like why specifically him you you know what I mean like you specifically just were trying to name drop Biggie for reasons that I don't really understand it's that- not like he was making a comment about how you know maybe there are parallels between the two no he just remember I'm I I brought you Notorious B.I.G. Remember that? Yeah, that um that just calls back to my theory that the only reason Diddy's even known is that he's just been fucking riding Biggie's coattails for the last what twenty something years? Oh no doubt. Like for fuck's sake! Like I, I hate to get off topic, but Ready to Die, great album. Get Diddy the fuck off it. <laughs> he fucking tarnishes that thing. He really. It's like, ah, really do die. not need him on here. It's like, it's like, yeah, I'm ready to die. Uh, I'm talking about death, this, that, and the third. You know, I'm an ugly motherfucker. Um, you know, I'm ugly as hell. Maybe I need to die. Da, da, da. And then, you know, here comes Diddy bobbing in with his take that, take that, take that. <laughs> 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 talking about, yeah, we, we ain't afraid to die. Ha ha. Yeah. Like, he sounds like. He's the yes man in the background who they, who was just hyping, who was just uh, giving B, B, Biggie a massage, you know, <laughs> giving him a back massage and saying, yeah, man, we can't be stopped. And they forgot to turn off the recorder. Huh? Because <laughs> he just doesn't stop talking for some reason. Yeah, no. Like, like do you really think we need it? And it's not even like a... You know, like how Raekwon and Ghostface Killer, it would be like Raekwon's album, but you hear Ghostface Killer on it rapping. Yeah. You know, he's not rapping. He's literally doing what DJ Khaled does now. Yeah. <laughs> Except at least DJ Khaled, I don't know, sometimes shuts up. Occasionally. <laughs> but with this song, it was like, you hear this verse going on, and it's just, and there's just a sense of, eh, but but I, I'm a part of this too, even though I, even though I didn't actually write anything, but you know. I'm I'm here. I I'm involved in this moment. You know, like he's basically the guy who tries to get in on the picture. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's him now. With, with, with this fucking song, I'm surprised. Fucking, um, fucking, uh, fucking Biggie's like, I don't want to live no more. And in the background, you hear, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I just called you in the middle of the night. I'm about to shoot myself. And you're plugging your fucking vodka? <laughs> and then, okay, now back to the song, though. Yeah. He says, America's a glass house, and my revenge is mental. Yeah. Come, come on, son. <laughs> what, dude? I totally feel him. I see what he's saying about throwing rocks and shit. I don't know. <laughs> Rather use my brain than throw a cocktail through a window. Hmm. It is like, I kind of what he's saying yeah fucking mind over matter fucking yeah think i'd rather you use act. my brain to help me sell more bottles of ciroc <laughs> don't, don't throw that cocktail out enjoy it responsibly yeah don't throw my ciroc <laughs> through your window take a sip <laughs> it's fucking sips against oppression <laughs> <laughs>